I asked the Battles 2 community what their favorite camo detection option was, and they told me it was the submarine. Not only is the submarine the best meta option in Season 4 of Battles 2, but it's also the most popular, thanks to its high tier performance and rank ladder games, as well as its easy to use and accessible playstyle. Today I'll be going over both why players have chosen the submarine as the best camo detection option, and I'll be teaching you the two best strategic team compositions for a submarine, used commonly in Masters in Season 3, as well as the newly emerging submarine playstyle for Season 4. With that said, let's get into the why and the how. So why is it that people use the submarine over something like Monkey Village or Wizard, like another camo detection option? The main reason people pick submarine for their team is usually when a player is trying to fill their camo detection slot in their team composition, and they'll also usually be looking for a slight defensive boost that other camo detection options currently don't provide. Like if you take a village for your camo detection, you don't really get too much extra damage to defend, but if you take a submarine, you get three options of dealing damage. This has made the submarine a one tower package that can both detect and pop the most popular bloom waves in players' minds. So all of that is the why, but now we get into the how. Specifically how the submarine became meta in season 4 and the two best strategies or team compositions that have come from this. So first here's some of the history and then I'm going to update you on the season 4 strategy that came from this. Submarine has been used since season 1, however the first major expression of the submarine was first seen in season 3 after it received buffs to its damage and every single ability path. It eventually found itself in the team combination Druid Submarine Ice, or DSI for short. Druid Sub Ice was arguably the best strategy in the entire game because it was immune to losing the game for the first 33 rounds when you played it correctly, whereas most other strategies couldn't really hold around 29 FDDT all in, supported by the Season 3 Druid farming. For those that don't know, Druid in Season 3 was the strongest economic option in the game, and you could launch some of the strongest all in balloon wave attack around round 26 to 30 winning just most of your games if you had druid on your team. The amount of economy that you could get with the strategy was amazing and I'm not going to talk too much more about it here because I've already made a full guide on how to play DSI which I will link in the descriptions. So the season 4 updated variant of this. Druid was nerfed making it a worse economic option and so players started taking TAC as their early game option to substitute for this. People used to start with Druid but then they started using TAC and in season 3 the second major meta build was TAC sub and farm and I'd like to kind of just highlight here that both top tier meta builds for season 3 had submarine in it so submarine's already a pretty strong tower the reason why the number one build still isn't tax sub farm is because sniper in season 4 has recently become a part of the season 4 popularity meta so now players have been choosing to run tax sub sniper opposed to using tax sub farm like they were in season 3 in my interpretation this is because players were searching for a slightly more late game power for those that don't know one submarine and two tax shooters can hold almost to round 18 by themselves and they cost very little to get up allowing you to get your sniper economy up much earlier than what you could if you took a different early game option allowing the sniper to once again become meta compensating for the economic nerfs it received in previous patches because of this druid submarine ice is no longer the only strategy that could defend around 30 easily but now tax sub sniper can do this once you get pretty good at the strategy i haven't made it to masters yet this season but it's my personal belief that this is going to be one of the builds up there now outside of those two builds the submarine just as a tower has proven itself already across multiple seasons showing that it's capable of both defending most balloon waves players are able to send your way while also being a simple yet effective camo detection option for more battles to strategy guides i have like like four or five different playlists on this channel covering the meta strategies for each season of the game. Lots and lots of builds for you to choose from. Thanks for watching.